freedom is one of those things where you know when you are unfree, but it's not always so clear when you are free. After all, we think of freedom as the default position. We are free until something or someone makes us unfree. My Heinemann's Australian Dictionary from 1976 defines freedom as the state or condition of being free. Free is defined as not restrained by authority or external forces. Does that mean that obeying the law makes us unfree? Liberalism defines freedom as the ability to choose, to make your own decisions. However, liberalism has been the dominant political position for two or three centuries in some places, and what is obvious is that for much of that period, people did not always get to choose. But liberalism is a promise. Today you are not totally free, but tomorrow we will help you to become free. And the range of choices has grown over that time. That is why traditionalists have always opposed liberalism, because we could see the logic of liberalism, that no matter how small its claims were today, they would not and could not remain small. The logic of liberalism said that choice had to be the objective, that choice had to be above all other reasoning, and that choice had to destroy all other reasoning. So the reason abortion is regarded as, as good is because the woman did not choose to become pregnant, but she can choose to have an abortion. The reason that transgenderism is regarded as good is because the person chose their own gender. The reason drug legalization is regarded as good is because people should be free to choose. Choice is supreme and any other reason for doing something is wrong. Choice destroys all other reasoning because under liberalism, freedom is absolute. This is a radical departure from traditional definitions of freedom. Traditionally, freedom was regarded as freeing yourself from your base desires. We all experience emotions, and not all of our emotions are positive ones. To be free, we must fight a constant battle against our own nature. Ironically, being able to fight that battle is a normal part of our nature. We are not being asked to do something unnatural. Instead, we are being asked to do what we are capable of, controlling our desires. We are free when we control our desires. We are slaves when our desires control us. Traditionalists say that we are free when we fight against our fears. Liberals say that we are free when we choose not to fear. However, if someone was to choose to be fearful, doesn't that also make someone free, according to liberalism? And if not, isn't that an unprincipled exception? A drug user may choose to use drugs, but if they should become dependent upon drugs, just how free are they? Just how much choice do they have? In this case, as in so many other so-called choices, liberalism gives us enough freedom to become a slave.